Hey guys, welcome to Fox Answers. Today the question comes from business and finance, renting and real estate. And uh, it says the tenant wants to leave and end lease after we remove tennis court. Earlier in October, we removed the tennis court in order to build new townhouses in the area. An angry tenant vacated the apartment without notice and said he will sue for the damages as we never gave notice to residents about removing the tennis court. Does he have a case? Further, there is two months remaining on his lease. He claims he is not liable to pay anything and wants us to take this to court before reporting debt collections. What should we do? Now, I think it's kind of funny that um, he knows that the court is gone and he still wants to take you to court. Uh, and depending on his skill level, maybe you do want to take him to court. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a tough thing. If, if you're really good at tennis, you know, take them to court. Take them, take them to town. Take them right down to it. Because really it comes down to, I mean, if you can solve this on the court, you don't have to worry about, you know, judges and juries and stuff. You just take it to the court. You play your best. And you win, you know. And you win and you get, your, get what's due to you. Now, I think it's a fair way. Um, he, he clearly loves tennis. And... And that's the way he's going to want to solve it. And I think that, you know, removing the court shows that you don't care about tennis as much. But if you can prove that, hey, I may not like tennis as much, but I respect the sport and I'm good enough at the sport that, that you should respect and pay me the rent. That's really what's going to sell it for him. And so if you can do that, if you can win a tennis match against your tenant uh, on, on court, I think you're really going to have uh, an easy time getting through this kind of predicament that you're in. Uh, I hope that helps you out, and I'm, I'm rooting for you. And that's it for Fox Answers for today, and we'll catch you next time.